Hello friends, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me. Welcome to another Floyd Art tutorial. As you can see, I prepared these beautiful rainbow colors for my new project, which will be done on my long canvas, which is size 15 times 60 centimeters. And I'd like to have some beautiful rainbow cells in the middle and maybe later on embellish them into something special. I would like to describe what I did with my colors. I mix them with my pouring medium and I make my own pouring medium from glue and water. At the beginning, I would like to show you how I mix my pouring medium. For my pouring medium, I use PVA glue. I use various glues, but I've got good experience with this one. It's called Craft PVA glue. There's loads of brands. Um, I use this one or Hercules, which I can buy in my country, but I'm sure you can buy loads of different brands, which also works well. And this is around four Oz, uh, which is almost 120 milliliters. So I've got 120 milliliters of my glue here. I'm going to put it in my measuring cup, all of it. So there's 120 milliliters of PVA glue and then I top it up with tap water and I will put 80 milliliters of tap water. So that's all together 200, 200 milliliters. Now I'm going to mix it up very well. You have to mix it up so there are no lumps in your glue and water it takes about two minutes like this this should be all right so this is my pouring medium and i will be mixing my colors with pouring medium that's what creates the beautiful pattern mixture of pouring medium and acrylic colors so i'm going to show you how i mix my colors i put a little bit of my colors on the bottom of my cup and I won't be using too many colors in this experiment but of course if you've got bigger canvas then you need bigger amount of colors and these colors are quite thick so you have to put more pouring medium in thick colors if you've got different brands then you have to put less pouring medium in your colors the, the fluidity is the key fluidity of your colors. The more fluid your colors are, the less pouring medium you need. And the more thick they are, the more pouring medium you need. So now I have to mix it up very well and create a good consistency for my pour. Now, I see that my colors are too thick. They are not dripping. So I have to add a little bit, little bit more pouring medium in them. And I always do this by heart. I don't have a measuring tool, tool, but you will figure it out once you try. The consistency should be like slightly whipped cream. I still have to mix it up a little bit more. Yep, this is much better like slightly whipped cream that's the right consistency and this will be the basic for my pour the basic mixture for my pour i will also add two drops of silicone oil in each color because i would like to have some small cells in my art so two drops in each color one, two, one, two. And mix it up a little bit. Now I'm going to mix my white for my base. And at the moment I'm using this type of white. It's just regular titanium white. I bought this in local art shop. I don't even know what brand it is. I think it's maybe royalty royal talents maybe if that's the brand i'm not sure but it's just a regular titanium white and i put i mix usually 50 percent of titanium white and 50 percent of pouring medium 
So this is my pouring medium and I will cover that I make 50% and 50% and I mix it up. So let's pour that on my canvas everywhere. Yep, it seems like that's all covered. Now I can start pouring my color. So I start with yellow and I will pour. This is Indian yellow. Let's keep a little bit for later on. I will be mixing them all together. Cadmium red. Magenta. Mauve, beautiful color. Let's put a little bit here on the top as well. And I'm going to put a little bit of that yellow in between of these colors. Because I would like to create a nice combination of colors. This is my permanent violet. Velo blue This is beautiful turquoise color And last one is my velo green don't worry if you don't have any colors on the bottom because you'll be mixing it, mixing them up so um, they will move down there. I'm also going to put a little bit of that white in between of these colors just here and there. I'm just going to move it down a little bit so my colors mix a little bit and they will get down on the edges as well. Now I've got this old piece of plastic sheet, which is great for swiping. Of course, you can also do like with wet paper towel or something like that. It should work, but I like using this piece of plastic and I'm going to make a swipe all the way down there. I just gently push and go down. Wow, look at all these beautiful cells. They are growing and growing. I'm gonna use my heat gun. It's not a hair dryer, it's a heat gun which is hot, but it helps to create these beautiful cells. It will help to pop these cells. what I hoped for. Look at all these amazing cells and colors. That's cool. I don't have any balloons today because I ran out of balloons but I'm going to try to use these uh, cups. These are from yogurts and I like to create these stems which will be a good base for my bubbles. So let's try a big one in the middle i'm just going to push like this and then take it off what? Oh, that's beautiful create another bubble maybe here It's 
beautiful. Cool. Okay, another one here. I also made these smaller balloon kisses with a small balloon and now I just have to wait till it gets dry welcome back after a week my pour is dry and I love the color combination in this pour I'm really happy with it I know some people don't like rainbow colors like my mom she wouldn't like this but I really like rainbow colors on my pour and now I'm going to try to turn it into amazing 3D bubble piece and for that I'll be using my cups from yogurts if you've seen my previous videos you know I love using these because um, you can see you can create a nice round circles with these cups of course you can use some kind of stencils or whatever you have at your home and I've got this whiteboard marker which I'll use for drawing my circles and the reason why I'm using whiteboard marker is that if I make a mistake then I can easily wipe it off and yeah uh, I can continue making it on another part of my pour that's the only reason like this this will be a beautiful bubble and then here And I will be also using this small cup for my smaller bubbles. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the bottom bubbles. So I want them to be layered on the top of each other. So I just have to decide where the bottom bubbles will be. This looks like a good place. I also want to create borders around my pour and for that I'll use just this simple masking tape. And I'm going to draw a few circles which will be hidden underneath my border. It will add even more 3D effect into my pour. So let's choose some good spots for that. Time to fill all these spaces with black acrylic color. So I'm just gonna put my brush in water and fill all these spaces with black, which will create a beautiful 3D effect in my pore. So this is how it looks, all covered with black and now I have to create shades around these circles which will be hidden underneath my border. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's choose the one which will be underneath. Sometimes it's hard to guess. I just have to... Yep. This one will be underneath, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that black color on my brush, like tap it like this, and because I don't want too much black on my brush, and just blend my black, and then I put it in water and 
create this nice shade. like that and i'm using my blending brush size six i buy this in local art shop but i'm sure you can order lots of different brushes online i don't have any recommended shop for brushes but i'm sure if you do your research on google or amazon you'll find many good brushes this will also be hidden so i'll put a little bit of that black on my brush and make shades and i always wait like five minutes before i take these tapes off so time to take them off and paint all of my bubbles oh these already look like they are hidden underneath okay so this is it and here comes the fun part i'm gonna show you how to embellish your circles into beautiful bubbles or water drops so let's show you a little detail i'm gonna start with this one the background is perfect for my embellishment and i always put a little bit of black color black acrylic color on my brush and then do the top and also the bottom with black so firstly i start with the top part now i put my brush in water and try to blend my black nicely like this and it's a pour so it behaves a little bit differently than painting on normal canvas which doesn't have pour on it so blending part could be a little bit tricky don't be sad if your first try won't be successful it took me some time till i figured it out how to blend it and how to turn it into 3d piece but i promise if you keep practicing you'll get better and better and you'll create a beautiful piece Try to work quite quickly with your black. You don't want it to get dry. You want to blend it. So it creates nice shade. Nice 3D effect. Again, putting my brush in water. And now just blending it with the water let's put a little bit more black on my brush and I'm gonna put more black on the bottom of my circle And it already started to look like it's popping out of this background so I'm gonna let this dry and work on the bottom circle so I'll, I'll do the same thing I will just go around my circle with black acrylic color like this and also here
Now I have to wait a few minutes till this black gets dry and then I will work on the reflection and also on these shades which will be around these top bubbles. And there's still a few finishing touches which I need to add to make it pop. So I'm gonna work on the shades which needs to be done around these top bubbles and also here it will add even more 3D feel to it. So again I'm working with my black acrylic color. I always put a little bit on my brush and create a black line here. And I'm gonna blend it. I put my brush in water and blend the black shade. So like this, and then I'm con gonna continue creating shades everywhere around here. Now I'm going to use a little bit of white acrylic color and paint these edges white. It will make it pop and look nicer so these edges will be much sharper and the last step is painting reflection on my bubbles or water drops and for that i'm gonna use my posca pen white it's size i think like one millimeter tip looks like this and the light is coming from this way, so I will paint some reflection here on the top and also some on the bottom. Like that and now I'm gonna paint the rest of them and show you the finished result. And this is the result of my rainbow acrylic pour with bubbles. I love that 3 the effect which happens when you put a little bit of black in the background. It creates such a beautiful, unique piece of art. Well, I hope this tutorial was inspirational for you. I hope you learned something new and I hope you will also be able to create some beautiful art. And if you'd like to show us your beautiful art, you can join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and consult it with other people in my group. You can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and like this video if you, if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for your support and for your beautiful words. I can't wait to see you again. Bye!